Man, what happened, bro? I got broken into. <laughs> replace it. Ah, uh, did you at least get to make a little bit before they got it all? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. About three hundred worth. Uh, you got half of it almost. That's good, <laughs> I guess. Did they, did they get anything cool? What they steal? Uh, they didn't get technically too much, but they just stole my garage door. Is what they did. Really? Yeah. Fuckers. So yeah, brand new garage door costs. Yeah, a thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah, quick. All right, guys. Well, Mike's back trying to replenish the stock he lost when they broke into his uh, shop last night. Uh, this looks like a healthy one, though. Hopefully, this will get you back fast. Let's break it down, set it up, guys, and see how much money Mike's going to make. Hey, you know, Mike, if you uh, file the whole business, you could write off the entire loss, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, you could actually write it off as a loss. Uh, you still don't get the money, but at least you don't have to pay the money at the end of the year. You know what I mean? Uh, nobody wants to do it like that, but uh, this one scared me a little bit, guys. And this is why we'll about, well, we're going to test my theory right here. But if you look at that box, it says A. That box says B. That box says G. That box says D. Sometimes that could be a bad thing. Sometimes it could be a bad thing. Sometimes it could be a good thing. I opened one outside that said F, and you know what was in it? And the way you're holding that, I think that's what it is. It's pretty light. It is the, uh, it's the, uh, it's the plastic garden that you glue to your wall. Bush. It's bush. Wall. It's bush. <laughs> hey, but we sell those great here, bro. Like, as soon as I put them on the shelf, they're gone in the next day. My grandma will like it. Like, oh, yeah, I think you might got a lot of it. Uh, <laughs> you might be able to do the whole backyard brick wall, bro. <laughs> Hey, but really though, like, uh, usually it's like some items, I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to wait till the weekend to sell that. That stuff goes instantly. As soon as a girl sees it, it's gone. That box right there. It is what I think it is. What up, Danielle? Hello, everyone. Oh, no bloody thieving. <laughs> no bloody thieving gets. Thieving sods. Thieving sods. Bonjour from France. What's up, Cindy? Welcome. June says, Larry! <laughs> Helen says, good luck. What up, Cindy? How are you doing? Don, how's you today? I am good. We shot a little morning video. If you guys didn't get to watch the uh, the silver breakdown earlier, uh, go check it out. All right, start running. Start running. You need a knife? Yeah. Back with Mike, guys, his garage got broken into yesterday. Uh, so they stole all of his last pallet that he bought. <laughs> he is back <clears throat> trying to get it even. Oh, hey, hey, speak of the day. Hey, don't talk about things, Mike, because you'll wish them into existence here, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, those are uh, 50 bucks, guys. We, we already know what those are. Those are like the old velvet gold ropes for the bank. Um, those would be great for a movie prop, uh, or a good seller on eBay, I'd assume. 50 bucks on that box. All the way open, guys. We need to see what it is. Howdy. What up, Mary Beth? Diana, good evening from South Africa. The diamond was a marquise, not a baguette. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. We'll go farther into those uh, the jewelry stuff later. I got to figure out how we're going to flip it. Also, guys, uh, we're having an auction the day, the Saturday before Easter. Uh, we're doing a we're doing a chocolate Easter egg raffle. Uh, they're bringing in one of those chocolate Easter eggs that we, me and Ted, are always breaking open with hammers, and uh, we're going to auction off one of the golden Easter eggs. And then we're also going to uh, do an auction. We're going to auction off a couple pallets, box by box. So, like this, for instance, this is a great for instance here. This pallet, 700 bucks, right? So let's do the math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 boxes in that row. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 35 boxes divided by $700. That's how we're gonna open. So basically, uh, whatever 35 divided by 700 is, Thirty 
25 divided by 700. That didn't work. 700 divided by 35. 20 bucks. So that means we're going to start every box at 20 bucks. I don't care what it is. Uh, we're not going to open the boxes, so you got to guess too. It's going to be a little guesswork. Obviously, some stuff is going to cheat because it's going to tell you it's a snow cone machine right on the side of the box. Uh, but we're going to start like so. We're going to start that at 20 bucks. Can I get a 25? Can I get a 25? Can I get a 30? You got 30. Can I get 35? And then we're going to do a little auction right here. Uh, that is a badass ice crusher, dude. Uh, that is a badass snow 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 cone maker. Anyway, so that's how we're going to run the auction. We're going to burn an entire pallet or two. We're going to probably do two. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully everybody that buys the boxes will open their stuff in front of everybody else. So if you get something cool for 20 or 30 bucks, everybody can show it off. You know what I mean? Obviously, some of the other stuff might be a little bit more harder to move but we're also going to do it live so uh you guys can get a chance to get in there too i'm going to start adding this stuff up <clears throat> saturday before easter uh 99 on the dolly uh wall art kit uh 20 bucks uh 10 bucks for the feet we got 50 bucks for the uh cords we've got uh the gigantic uh tile cutter 99 bucks easy Get it. 99 bucks on the stainless steel uh, serving table with uh, trays. Uh, so we got boxes of this stuff, and I knew that's what it was. Uh, give me uh, 40 bucks per box on that stuff. Uh, stainless steel double doors for a barbecue island or uh, uh, 50 bucks on the stainless steel doors. So these are all black tarps. Hey, pull that out. Let's cut it open, flip, fan it out. That looks different. That is cool, bro. If that's fake ivy on the inside of that tarp, that is awesome. Or is it fake grass? Anyway, he's got six boxes fake of ivy. it. So, so, he can, so he can come do his whole yard. Look, he's excited over there. What do you got three of, Mike? Eye shavers of all different sizes. Nice. <laughs> We're going to start your own stokehorn machine. So if flipping, flipping pallets don't work out, you could... Oh, I'm going to set up in here. That's what yeah. <laughs> Be here on the weekend, bro. <laughs> You'll clean up. Be here on the weekend. All right, fan that's it out. Backdrop, that's huh? that's kick-ass, bro. Yeah, Ivy. <clears throat> that's oh, pretty that's cool. Poison, Ivy. That's what yeah. 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 Hey, babe. Check this out. Watch this. I'll get you, I'll get you a customer right now. <laughs> I'm going to get two customers right now. I got something you may want. <laughs> Have you ever seen this ivy? It rolls out. It's a whole backdrop. Oh, that's cool. And you've got six of them. You, you do the whole backyard. Oh, yeah, because I got three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, at least 40 bucks a roll, bro. Right? Something about that. We're I'd say, to find out. I'd say 40 bucks a roll. So 40 times six, guys. 40 times six on that one. I hope somebody's adding this stuff up at home for me. That looks very interesting. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that looks interesting. All right. Back to the first ice crusher. That is a cool looking ice crusher for making snow cone machines. Uh, or it is a snow cone machine for making snow cones. See if you lift that out. Let's check it. Let's check out how badass he looks. Oh yeah. Boom, dude. That's a good one. So you just crush the ice and, and then and the then hand. scoop it out, bro. That's got to be 150 bucks. I'd say that's probably the easiest 150 you'll ever make, too. Yeah. 150 on that one. What do we got here? I got rid of for 75. Out of yard sale, so. Egg uh, puffers. Egg puffers? Yeah. Uh, 50 bucks. Uh, another 60 on the uh, Ivy box right there. Ooh, six piece serving tray set. 100 or 150? What do you think? Uh, these are like 75 bucks. 75 bucks on that one? All right, 75 bucks. What is this? This is kind of dude? fancy chandelier or something. Oh, that's a table lamp, dude. I'm going to let my sister go through that. She's good at knowing if everything's here or not. I mean, if you had to buy that from Lamps Plus, you'd probably pay $600. But we'll call it 50 bucks. Yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> this looks like a good box. I don't even know what's in here. It's a steak machine. A steak, machine. Steak, steak machine. What the hell is a steak machine that's coming out? <laughs> Inquiring minds need to know. What is a steak machine, bro? Here, you got a handle right here. 
I hope there's not razors inside that. You just shoved your hand in there like it was nothing. Steak machine, guys. I have no idea what a steak machine does. If it cures it. Yeah. But well, there's no there's no door, so I'd, I'd wonder. You think it cooks steaks, bro? Yeah. Like an industrial steak cooker for like a restaurant or something? Roaster steak machine. It's got to. Roast steak machine. With no machine. front door? No front door. The heat? Yeah, look at the heat. The heat comes from up there. You got to fry them. And then you got the All right, somebody there. looked that up, guys. That's kind of neat. I'd say at least a hundred on that. It's definitely different. I've never yeah. seen something like yeah. that come out of here. Well, yeah, you go buy some steaks, we could try it out here. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hundred on the steak machine. Somebody look that up because I have no clue what we're looking at on that. That's, yeah. uh, that could be. A I'm sure it's a hundred, bro. I'm sure it's a hundred. All right, what is this interesting looking thing right here? This is something you're going to want, bro. Is it? This is a cash, cash cube. Oh, you got another cash cube? Ah. Happy inflatable cash cube with two blowers, inflatable cash cube, both cash. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make a deal on that. I need a new color. Change it up. Yeah. Uh, we got a pool heater. I know the pool heaters are 100 bucks. Giant casters? What is that? Look at that. Oh, it's a motor. That looks like a motor. That's a big ass motor. Flip it over and slide the box off. Oh, the air compressor motor? Yep. That's exactly what it is. 50 bucks? Bam! So, fast money. They sell really quick. I'm probably going to know someone who wants that. So uh, It doesn't look as them... big as the one I had, so it's probably like a 10 by 10 or a 10 by 15. But that is a spray booth, a blow-up spray booth, and the motor's in it, which you don't usually get. I'd say go ahead and blow it up, but you'll never get it back in that bag when you blow <laughs> it up. <laughs> it's a wrap, so... We'll give, give, it, we'll give me blow it up to make sure there's no holes, no leaks, no nothing. Three fifty on gone. that. Yep. Ooh, look at that ice shaver, bro. That looks like the Snoopy one from back in the day. Oh, that one squirts the juice on it and everything, dude. Yep. Here that one go. has the juice on it and everything, bro. That you throw that in the backyard for the kids. Steak machines range from four hundred to thirteen hundred. And there's another there's brand new ice brand machine new. with the bucket on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Those are the good ones, bro. I bet you those are even more than the 150 I'm giving it. Uh -huh. Those are super nice, bro. Uh, so give me 100 on that ice machine, maybe 150, and another 150 on that one. We got two more egg puffers. Give me uh, 75 on both egg puffers. Uh, what is that? A paper cutter? This one. I don't know what that is. I think so. I couldn't get that one out. Yep. Paper yep. Paper cutter. Paper cutter. All right. 20 bucks. What is that, a welder? Welder? That's a machine, bro. That's some kind of machine. All right, yeah, we want to see all the machines. They're interesting. <laughs> what in the world oh, it sits that? just like that. What the hell is that? For making cups, dude. For wrapping fishing poles. It's for, uh, <laughs> you got instructions in there somewhere? <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to find it. Nope. Nothing there. I think it's for wiping, like wrapping the lines on fishing poles. Oh, oh. Don't mess that up. Or for doing like cups, for doing like, I've seen them spin cups for some reason. The cups spin and then you, uh, here, somebody take a picture of that and Google image it. We'll call it, we'll call it 50 bucks until we figure it out. <laughs> What is this, a forklift seat? No, that's a seat for a car. No, that's a forklift seat. That's a nice forklift seat you with a seatbelt. With a seatbelt. I just don't want to have to put it on. Uh, 99 bucks on the forklift seat. Oh, we got the good tongue drum, too. There's the hammer drum. Uh, give me 100 bucks on the hammer drum. A uh, hydraulic lift for a, a hoist or a crane or a anything. A uh, carpet cleaner. 100 bucks. It's a what? A dry carpet cleaner. That is a, no. not a dry carpet cleaner, bro. No way. You are. <laughs> I can't you be ashamed for even saying that, Sam. <laughs> Watch this. Adjust your goggles, Sam. <laughs> Did you Google lens it? Yeah. Multi-use duty power. Little, uh, uh, heavy duty power tool. Multi-use. All right, well, last two items. <laughs> We've got the uh, Adams Family uh, face crusher right there. <laughs> that looks like wheels for a pallet. Uh, so give me uh, 30, 
Give me oh, two. This is a big old giant metal. Uh, um, is this is wheels. No. That's a whole frame. On, uh, furniture mover, yeah. HD infrared waterproof HD cameras. You got cameras to give me. What is it? They're night vision cameras. Uh, so let me know who's working in my garage. Right, so put those up. Security, night vision, closed circuit TV cameras. So yeah. give me 40 bucks on those, give me 20 on that, and give me 25 on the steel rack. Uh, and then we got some stuff on the table. Go ahead and open it. I want the hammer drum, Melody Bozik. That feels like clothes, that feels like an item. Hey, rip this open. Yeah, just cut them open for me. Let's do some mystery box opening right now. Melody says hi, Sam. Good morning. Oh, you got a bunch of the orbs? How many are in there? Four? Four, yeah. You got four flying orbs? 20 bucks on the four flying orbs because those are super fun for kids, but nobody ever sells them because they end up playing with them. <laughs> Ooh, nice sweater. Yeah. Pull it out. Hold it up. Let's see it, Larry. Let's see it, Larry. You're killing me, Larry. I want the tongue drum for my sister for her birthday, Cindy Carr. Tell her I sent you the money. I'll leave it. She'd come pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> that is a badass one, dude. Super big, too. That'd fit me. I think it's wool. It's wool? And it's wool? Oh my god, it is, dude. Oh, what, it's nap too? Hold on, so that's probably a $100 jacket if that's nap. That did say nap on it, right? It did. So that's probably at least a hundo right there. Here you go, Jason. Put it on. Put it ah, on no, this isn't that kind of video, bro. Uh, no, he, this is a pallet breakdown. <laughs> this is a pallet breakdown. Here, I'll put, I'll put, on, I'll put on the tiara. Hold on. Here, <laughs> I'll put on the uh. Oh. Actually, Ernie, and it probably think you, you put it on. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> there you we go. got a oh, Jasmine yeah. Jason going on. <laughs> there you go. That, that, oh, there's two of them. Came with extra parts, man. You put the reaper around your neck after you put that dress on. There's no more. Yeah, that's what that is. Diane said it looks like it's nice and it'll fit you. What a wreath? So we got the orbs, we got that sick wool nap uh, jacket. We got some really high end carpenter squares here. We got the costume, we got the reef. Give me 125 on the whole table. All right, who added me up? That jacket is $300. Yeah, I knew it was expensive. <laughs> that nap wool, uh, it almost looks like a flannel. That's kind of why I liked it. How much does it cost you? Uh, about 250. Uh, give me a buck. Buck fifty on the cash cube too. Where are we at, guys? Another buck fifty on the cash cube, three thousand two plus whatever that machine was we missed. I'd say. You uh, don't know what the hell that is. I, I I bet you that's for making fishing poles, bro. Have you ever seen them wind a fishing pole? Yeah. It just it spins and then they put the they they hold the string in their hand and then they just they they hold the string tight and the the pole spins and they spin the the nylon onto it all right guys so i'm gonna give them i'm gonna say everybody's 26 to 3 grand i'm gonna probably say 31 because we didn't get the cash cube because he was trying to sell it to me and we didn't get that machine so i'm gonna say 31 pretty fair bet hey jason hi from daytona beach florida new subscriber what up francis riva Re 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 rivera francis rivera welcome appreciate you appreciate the subscription thanks for the shares and the support guys we love y'all all right we we're going to put this together and then larry's popping another one how fast was that fast enough to be back for another one, larry's going to do a bio for you guys <laughs> all right guys we'll be back as soon as we clean up our mess thanks for watching